you purchased this yacht for approximately $150,000. It was a 1980 Modi yacht. And you claim that the five toilets that were on the yacht were not functioning properly. And so you found the defendant, Mr. Carrier. Yes, I did. I wanted him to replace all five of the toilets, which they call heads, and all of the hoses running through the entire boat. How did you locate the defendant? I Googled. I, I did a lot of Googling. He had good reviews online, and so we gave him a call. All right. The uh, defendant gave the $12,000 estimate, and you gave the defendant a $5,000 down payment. And you claim that his work was so faulty that you alleged that he almost sank the yacht. And so you're suing him for the down payment of $5,000. Am I correct? Yes, I am. Whereas, Mr. Carrier, you say that the boat was an electrical Frankenstein. Is that the way you characterized it? Uh, maybe like a mild Frankenstein. The, the voltage was unusual for It wasn't the boat? unusual. It was just I was under the assumption the boat was a 12-volt system all the way through. I didn't realize it. Once I got everything in, that everything was a 24-volt system. All right. And herein, I think, lies a major issue. You inspected the boat, did you not, before you did the estimate? Uh, yes, yes. Are you a licensed plumber? Yes. You were aware these were electrically run toilets, am I correct? Yes. So why weren't you aware that this was a 24-volt system as opposed to a 12-volt system? Honestly, uh, honestly, it's my, my fault for not being more... I'm sorry? It's, honestly, it's my fault for not being more thorough in my estimate and looking at everything. That's totally on me. And then literally... So what work did you actually do? Uh, pulled hoses. Um, I worked on the pump unit. I rebuilt a manifold. I uh, installed three toilets in the back. I tr I basically, I tied off onto their 12-volt system to get at least three toilets working. Kind of turned into like a mess. Have you ever done work like this before on a, yes, on a yacht this size? Yes. But this boat has spent 20 years in Mexico. So a lot of like the hosers were actually glued into place in the bulkhead. To get them out, we'd have to tear out the floor, and that's pretty evasive. No, I understand that, but you did an inspection. Yes. And you gave an estimate, and therefore, because it turned out to be a 24-volt system, it took you longer than you anticipated, and the plaintiff eventually fired you, am I correct? Yes. I would also like Mike to speak about the voltage on the boat Yes, as please. Well. Uh, I'd like up. you to do that. Were any of the toilets that you hired the defendant to repair repaired? No. no. In fact, two of them he broke. I mean, he pulled all of the toilets out of the boat except for one, which was inoperable. And so we went without toilets for at least two, two and a half months. First of all, the toilets were a completely different system than the rest of the plumbing on the boat. There's two types. There's a, a positive pressure and a negative pressure. And he had combined the two of them. And they don't work together. So everything that he had purchased uh, was worthless. So at one point in time, you found that the boat was flooding. What was that? Caused by. Yeah, he had a, brought a hose from the outside through a window to rinse things down, and he left the hose on, and at nighttime it started filling up one of the bilges, and both of the bilge pumps were turned off. The bilge, the of course, pumps pump out any water, excess water into the boat. Correct. We were utterly shocked. I mean, I couldn't believe it. And it was just one thing after another, and then when he almost sank the boat, that was frightening. Judge Acker? Are three of the toilets working now on the boat, Ms. Diamond? We have two toilets working because Mike took a week off work. In one week, he pulled the hoses and connected those two toilets. He had to tear out all of Robert's work, which, by the way, again, the most egregious Let's thing is... Let's go back to your complaint. No, hang okay. on. You said that the defendant pulled out four of the toilets and he only installed one. Just now, he said he installed three. He did not. He installed one toilet and it never worked. No, I'm saying there was three in the forward part of the boat that I installed that were working. So what of that, Ms. Diamond? Is he just lying? That's what you're saying? He's standing here right now lying, saying that he installed three toilets that were working. You say that that never happened. That's exactly correct. He is lying about it. But if you in the complaint, it says that the plaintiff, Ms. Diamond, paid Robert another $1,000 to buy more parts. So if he was just messing up the whole thing, why'd you give him another $1,000? Uh, the $1,000 was given to him before we realized how bad it was. How much time did you spend examining the boat before you gave him the estimate? I probably went over the boat like 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, just kind of like looking in panels, looking in cubbies, seeing where everything ran, and seeing how, how difficult it was going to be to either pull and then get into areas. But you mm. said you made a mistake by assuming it was a 12 volt. You did $3,800 worth of work, according to you, but if all you did was make a mess, then why should they pay for your time? Uh, can't argue with you. 